Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Maxwell's equation in phasor form. Before discussing the Maxwell's equation in phasor form, let us have a look at the Maxwell's equation that we discussed for the time varying field in the previous lectures. Coming on to the first equation that is given by Maxwell, that is del dot d is equal to rho in the differential form. And if we talk about its integral form, then it will be equal to integration over closed surface d dot ds equals to integration over volume rho v dv. And the Maxwell second equation is del dot b is equal to 0. Here is a differential form. And in the integral form, it is being represented as integration over closed surface b dot ds is also being equal to 0 only and here is the Maxwell's third equation in differential form that is del cross E equals to minus del B by del T and in that integral form it is being represented as line integral over E dot DL that is negative of the surface integral del b by del t into ds and this is finally the Maxwell's fourth equation that is del cross h equals to j plus del d by del t and in the integral form it is being represented as line integral h dot dl that is being equals to j plus integration over closed surface del d by del t into ds so this is all about the maxwell's four equation in time varying field now let us have a look at the maxwell's equation in phasor form for general conducting medium So here are the Maxwell's equation in phasor form for general conducting medium. If we talk about the Maxwell's first equation in the time varying field, it is exactly similar to the Maxwell's first equation in phasor form for general conducting medium. That is, the dot D is being equal to rho. This is Maxwell's first equation in phasor form for general conducting medium. If we talk about Maxwell's second equation, then it is also exactly similar. That is, del dot B is equals to zero only. Let's discuss about Maxwell's third equation. Since the Maxwell's second equ third equation is being given as del cross E equals to minus of del B by del T. If we simplify it, then we know that since B equals to mu h. So replacing the value of B in this expression with mu h, we get del cross E equals to minus mu del over del T of h. Since the time we are converting this from time domain to the complex domain then this del over del t will be replaced with j omega so on converting this del over del t with j omega we get del cross e equals to minus of j omega mu into h this is Maxwell's third equation in phasor form and let's discuss about Maxwell's fourth equation in phasor form since in the time varying field it is being given as del cross h equals to j plus del d by del t we also know that the conduction current density that is j will be equals to sigma into E and 
this D can also be represented as epsilon into E. So replacing this J and D with this corresponding values, we get the expression that is del cross H, which is being equals to sigma into E plus epsilon del E over del D. On converting the time domain to the complex domain, we will replace this del over del T with j omega. So on replacing del over del T with j omega, we get del cross H equals to sigma E plus epsilon multiplied with j omega into E. So del cross H can also be represented as sigma plus j omega epsilon into E. So this is Maxwell fourth equation in phasor form for general conducting medium. This is first equation, this is second, this is third and this is fourth. So it is all about Maxwell's equation in phasor form for general conducting medium. So these all are the four equation that we discussed. Now let us have a look at the Maxwell's equation in phasor form for free space. Since in the free space we know that there is no free charges. Since we do not have any free charges so we can say that the conductivity for the free space is equals to zero so sigma value will be equals to zero only and there are no charge distribution in the free space So we can also say that the value of rho is also being equals to zero for free space. Now let us calculate the Maxwell's fourth equation in free space. So let's discuss about the first equation. This is the Maxwell's equation in phasor form for general conducting medium. In the general conducting medium, del dot D is equals to rho only. But in the free space, the value of rho is equals to zero. So we can write it del dot D is equals to zero. And since we know that the value of D is equals to epsilon into E. So we can write del dot epsilon into E is equals to zero only. On simplifying it, we can also write it as del dot E is equal equals to zero because we get this epsilon in denominator and it will equals to zero. So this is the Maxwell's first equation in free space for phasor form and this is the alternative result that we get from this expression. Now let us have a look at the second equation of Maxwell. According to the time varying field and the phasor form representation for the general conducting medium, del dot B is equals to zero only. So here also we write del dot B equals to zero. And we also know that B can also be represented as mu into H. So if we write mu H in place of B, then it becomes mu 
del dot mu h is equals to zero and we can also write it as del dot h equals to zero only so this is a another alternative result that we get from maxwell's second equation for free charges now let us have a look at the maxwell's third equation in free space so we know that del cross e is equals to minus j omega mu h as we discussed in the maxwell equation for conducting medium so here also del cross e is equals to minus j omega mu h for the free space and the fourth equation of maxwell for free space is also given as del cross h equals to j omega epsilon into e because in the conducting medium we discussed that it is equals to sigma plus j omega epsilon into e but the value of sigma is equals to zero because we do not have any free charges here that's why on substituting the value of sigma is equals to zero in this expression we get del cross h equals to j omega epsilon into e so this is all about the four equations of maxwell in phasor form for free space thank you if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button